from Daniel Morowitz to Nolan Waters. SCP-4927, March 9th, 2019, at 7.13pm, Nolan Waters, your SCP-4927 draft makes no sense. First of all, you attach a mimetic hazard as the image, which, aside from being completely unethical, is just completely unacceptable. Then there's the containment procedures, which simply say redacted. That's unauthorized on so many levels. And I don't want even to talk about the description. What is SCP-4937? We don't have any records of it, and we're the Records Administration. Sincerely, Daniel Mullowitz, Razor. From Nolan Rogers to Daniel Mullowitz. Regarding SCP-4937. March 9th, 2019, at 7.13pm. Daniel, I don't think you understand what I mean. Thing is, I've got so many problems that I have fingers. If I count with the other hand, because I can't count with neither hand, and if I use your hand to count, then I'm not counting, and then it doesn't count. What counts is, well... Before I begin, let me tell you, we had just finished observing the beach site through a camera attached to a long up tighter than air heavy duty balloon being blown upward due to a draft, like the draft in my office when I wrote that first draft. Why a balloon? I don't know. Maybe it's because balloons have been blown up. Well, drones can be blown up, like that breach site. Anyways, that was when we noticed this anomaly. It wasn't that one, but our job is to contain this and contain that. That one wasn't there, so it hadn't been blown up. If it wasn't there, then this wasn't here, and we had just wasted a lighter than air heavy duty balloon. We let it go, like I let go of the case, and it went up in the air, like my expectations. Anyways, the breach site contained SCP-4927, which was what we were there for. SCP-4937 seems to enjoy balloons, especially balloon animals, since it was one. It seemed like a ghost, because we had nothing on it, and because ghosts float, like balloons. Why do I keep getting sidetracked? I'm trying to say the right thing, and what's right has left my mind, and what's left in my mind is wrong. While we try to make sure everything goes right, sometimes nothing goes right instead, and balloons go up. On the off chance it was on site and not blown up, us and exploded, it was probably underground. We descended into the sublevels with suboptimal substitute lighting. The whole complex was flooded, and not with light. I continued through the long dark hallway, until I came into a fork in the road. I chose the right path, which was the left path, and not the right path. I should have chosen the latter. I saw a light at the end of the tunnel, and it was a blood lamp on a brick wall. I went back through the tunnels flooded with light, and not water to reach the tunnels filled with the ladder, and not the former. Until I came upon a ladder. I chose the ladder. I went down on a hunch, and also because the floor above me was collapsed. This was the right path, because at the end was SCP-4937, blown up as an expanded. But I felt like I had been gut-punched, because while I had the gut to come here, my gut feeling was right. Picture this, but you won't, because there wasn't a picture, but there was this. It didn't float, because floats don't float, and neither do some balloons. Sincerely, Nolan Rogers, Time Medics Division. From Daniel Mullowitz to Nolan Rogers. Regarding SCP-4937, March 9th, 2019, at 7.13pm. Nolan Rogers, you haven't addressed any of my concerns. I have notified your superiors, and they are aware of the situation. Please do not make this a bigger problem than it already is. Sincerely, Daniel Mullowitz, Razor. Item number SCP-4937, Object Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-4937 is to be kept in Storage Containment Unit BEEP inside a 30cm x 30cm x 30cm padded container. 
personnel should be cautious when handling the object due to its fragile nature. The description, SCP-4937, appears to be a partially deflated 260Q modeling balloon of ordinary make and white coloration. Originally measuring 32 centimeters from the end of the inflation valve, in a form described as that of a dog. SCP-4937 is the subject of a cognito hazardous meme. Information regarding its properties, behavior, and nature is evasively excessive. Thus, it is only possible to understand information regarding SCP-4937 through direct observation. Attempts to describe SCP-4937's abstract properties have failed as a result of either excessive imposition or evasive exposition. As such, information regarding SCP-4937 may or may not be true, and it may or may not present a significant threat to containment security. In an ordinary sense, memes are essentially living ideas, and that proposed anti-meme is a suicidal meme. But this one, it's different. It grows, yes, but in the wrong direction. It isn't spreading or concealing information about itself, but rather, it's spreading the wrong information. It just wants us to think it's a balloon dog. And since we can't understand it, and don't know what the hell it is, it's probably no laughing matter. Dr. Marcus Sonoma Addendum 4937-1 SCP-4937 was recovered on beep at site beep by Gina researcher Nolan Rogers. No prior records of SCP-4937 exist, and Rogers is unable to recall information regarding SCP-4937 before beep. Rogers claims to be unable to speak about SCP-4937. The following is a transcript of an interview with Rogers. Date. Interviewer, Dr. Marcus Sonoma. Interviewee, Nolan Rogers. Begin log. Please identify yourself. Nolan Rogers. No DN Rogers. I assume you understand why you're here. I suppose this has to do with SCP-4937. Yes, let's start with the beginning. How do you come to know of SCP-4937? I don't know. How do you? Well, through you, of course. Rogers remained silent for a few moments. Then that's my answer. But how are you made aware of SCP-4937 before Razor, if you knew it was SCP-4937? How should I know? You guys called it 4937, not me. No, in the first draft you sent to Mullowitz. Look, I might recall more information tomorrow. It's really... Right, almost forgot. What is it worth the wordplay? What? Tomorrow, it's Mullowitz. And then, in your emails, it's all puns. I didn't. Oh. Oh, that's it! What's it? It's SCP-4937. <laughs> what about it? Everything. The unusual circumstances. That it's a popped balloon dog. Everything. It's a joke. Further punchline. It is not even funny. What? It's just a balloon dog. We blew things out of proportion. And all. 